doing some work around here. Widening the road. Progress, right? <laughs> hey, today let's talk about starting out with no money. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. All right, let's move to the back of the lot here. Get away from that construction over there and talk about this real quick. So when I first started out, I certainly didn't have any money to purchase mobile homes. I didn't have uh, money really to, uh, I mean, I certainly didn't have a place to put them. And I certainly didn't have a, uh, a lot like I do now. Um, and that just came because I kept on investing my money back in my business. Um, so what I would suggest if you're starting out, first of all, get licensed. Follow the jurisdictions of uh, where you're selling. In Texas, you have to have a retailer's license. If not, you can only sell one mobile home per year. And if you get caught selling more, then you're going to get in trouble. I see it all the time. People trying to skirt the system. They're not licensed and they're selling. It hurts the industry, but it also hurts the consumer, but it can also hurt you as well. Because you let one person call up the state and say, hey, this person did me wrong, and they do an investigation on you. It's a, it's a lot of trouble, hefty fines and all that. So what I would do is find out what you need to do to sell mobile homes in your area, and I would and I would do it. It's not that hard. We had to I had to get a license, take a test, study for a few days, take the test. It wasn't that hard. I had to get a surety bond. Surety bond costs a little bit of money, but it's required by the state, and I got it. So now I have a license number. I'm a licensed dealer in Texas. So that keeps me out of the trouble with the state and uh, keeps me on good footing. And it's nice to tell a person when I'm buying or selling a mobile home that I'm a licensed dealer because there's a lot of guys that aren't that instant credibility right there. So get licensed. And then what I did, since I didn't have any money to go buy mobile homes, uh, I was also a broker. So that means I can broker deals for people. So I would go put out signs on the weekend and I would hustle. If you don't have money, you better have hustle. If you have a little bit of money, you don't need as much hustle. But I was out there hustling. I'm still out there hustling. I love to hustle. Because guess what? I beat my competition. So get out there and hustle. Go out there on the weekends. Put out signs in areas where you know a lot of mobile homes are. The signs that say, we'll buy mobile homes or we buy mobile homes or whatever you want to say on there. Get those signs out. Get a Google number or some type of other number that's not your cell number. And get that out there as well. And make sure you follow the rules of the counties now. Because you don't want those counties calling you up saying you got signs everywhere. So, um, And if you do, kind of play dumb and... Maybe a couple of times you get away with it. But anyway, I'd have a lot of people call me. Hey, I saw your sign. You want to come buy my mobile home? Well, I didn't have any money, right? So what am I going to do? But I went out there and saw it and I learned. I learned how to close deals. I learned how to meet people. I learned about mobile homes. So I started looking at them and I would say, hey, you know, this is a nice mobile home. Um, and I would try to find out, you know, how much they were going to sell it for. What's the best deal I can get? Once I had that idea, I would say, listen, um, I'm not able to purchase this one. Not lying, I can't. I don't have any money, but I could. I could help you sell it. Um, um, you know, I know a lot of people that are in the business, whether you do or not. So they would say, "Sure, why well, they want to get rid of it?" So I would get an assignment contract with them, basically saying they're assigning me the right to sell this mobile home. Now, be careful about this, and I'm not giving any advice here. I'm not a lawyer, uh, but you know, if you're not a broker, you probably can't do this. But I would, I would do that, and then I would go to a person like myself and go sell it. And I would say, hey, listen, I got this mobile home over here. It's a, you know, whatever, 2008. It's in great condition. And I would add on my uh, cost on there. So let's say they're selling it for 10000 I would sell it to somebody like myself for 12000 And I would make a couple of grand. And the guy would look at it, and he would say, yeah, that looks good. I'll, go, I'll take it. Um, let me tell you a secret, too. No way around here. So just between me and you, the money you make is on terms. You find those deals and you go out there and find them and sell them. Do not price it so high that you're trying to make a killing on every one because that's going to keep you. The, the deal will be gone. That person that you're selling for sold it or they're you're you know, you, you waste too much time. I would rather have three deals like that at two thousand dollars each than two deals at you know, five thousand and sit for 60 days because they may or may not go through. I was out there just doing deals like that. I was, I was brokering them and I was selling them. Um, and then I started to have enough money. So now I found this guy. So let's say I do this for a couple months. Now I found this guy that has a mobile home for, uh, wants to sell it for 10,000. I save my money. Now I got 10,000. So now I can make the deal. 
I have the money now to do it. So that gives me a lot of power. So if this guy's at 10, maybe I say, hey, look, I got cash. I'll give you eight. Nine times out of 10, they'll say yes. Yeah. So that's how I started getting deals. So then I got this mobile home. I'm probably going to have to sell it as is. But remember, I'm a broker. I mean, a dealer. So I have to make sure that it's habitable. So I couldn't buy any junk. Habitability, that means that it has to be livable. So if I had to do the repairs myself, I would do them work with a lot of park managers um, and say, hey, can I keep it here for a little bit? Maybe I give them a little bit of lot rent if they want to keep it. But then I would advertise it on Facebook and I would get it. I would have to drive across town lots of nights to go show it. And then I would sell it. I would find a lot of cash buyers. Cash buyers are tougher to find, but I would. And then I started making money like that. Now we own our finance and we do a whole bunch of different things. But that would be my advice to start out with. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just leave them in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and we'll talk a lot, a lot more about, um, financing and starting out and all that type of stuff. Um, but that's what I did. And, and I just kept on going. I was consistent. There's guys I know out there that's called wholesaling is basically what we're talking about. And there's a lot of guys that are out there that are doing it Ill illegally. Um, whatever you want to take that chance. That's on you. I'm not suggesting that at all. I'm making I'm asking you to follow the rules. Uh, but if you're always consistently just wholesaling, you're always chasing the money. So think of it as a business. I mean, you can do it as a side hustle and make some money, sure, but it's gonna be tough to stay that way. So uh, if you're in for the hustle and you want to do it, man, let's get going. Um, also too, if you're more of a passive investor and you're looking just to uh, um, invest your money, we look for passive investors as well. Uh, we have a program that you can earn passive money just basically mailbox money if you're interested in that and as you can see we're the real deal here and, and we uh we have a lot of uh quite a few investors that invest with us so just leave me a comment down below or um i would just say don't be scared get licensed follow the rules you do good you get good remember everybody's got to win don't take advantage of people and get out there and hustle so anyway that's my two cents let's go